Hey everybody, and welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast video here today. This is the NASCAR Freak, and this is the 53rd and final review of 2023. And the reason why I say finals is because this, these are the final set of diecasts I'll be receiving for 2023. And uh, 2024, it'll be bigger and better. So, um, just really excited to see about this one. I've been waiting for a long time for this one to come out. This is the 75 win collection right here. This, um, for all the drivers that have gotten 75 wins or more. We have Richard Petty, David Pearson, Kerry Yarborough, and so as well as Bobby Allison, Daryl Washer, Dale Hart, Jeff Gordon, and Jimmy Johnson. And I'll have to uh, open this up and um, name out the driver and where they got their wins from, their 75th win from. Uh, it says the date on the very, very back of the, of the deck lids on all the cars. And... Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting this uh, review for you guys to go over each diecast very closely, take a look at them, and this is the final diecast review of 2023. Let's get in, let's get this thing rocking and rolling. So here's all the diecasts open out of the box, and these are all the drivers that won 75 races or more. And we're starting out with Richard Petty, this right here, this Richard Petty car. Richard Petty got his 75th win on October 1st of 1967. In Avenue North Wilkesboro. Moving on into David Pearson, this David Pearson car, um, he had his 75th win on July 22nd of 1973. That happened to be in Atlanta. This is Kerry Yarbrough's in this paint scheme. His 75th win happened at Daytona, the Daytona 500 on February 20th of 1983. And here is another 1983 car. This is Bobby Allison that got his win at Dover of 1983, of May 15th, 1983. Here is Daryl Waltrip. This is Daryl Waltrip's 1989 paint scheme. This 75th win came in Atlanta on March 19th, of 1989. Here is Daryl Hart's 75th win. This 75th win came in Atlanta of March 12th, of 2000, beating Bob LeBond that day to the finish. Everybody knows that. Here is the Jeff Gordon car. This is uh, his uh, 75th win diecast, and this one would resemble the Chicagoland win he got in 2006 at Chicagoland. And then here is the final diecast in this review is Jimmy Johnson's 75th win. Uh, this would resemble his Texas fall win of 2015 at Texas Motor Speedway. And that is it for all... Of diecast reviews for 2023. So I'm going to do a quick zoom out here or dolly out, excuse me. Um, and really cool how I got this. Um, and this has been it for this final diecast review, buddy. Thank you for watching all the diecast reviews for this year. And I'm looking forward for 2024 to be even better. This has been the NASCAR Freak here and signing out for the final time. And God bless.